my frisky donkeys. <laughs> you know, do you if you were watching earlier or if you've been in the studio audience from the beginning, if you're still awake, <laughs> I, uh, I talked tonight for a great length uh, wishing happy birthday to uh, Sylvester Stallone. I talked for 10 and a half, 12 minutes maybe, saying happy birthday to Sylvester Stallone. I've just found out his birthday is the 6th of July. <laughs> That's, uh, that's one of the advantages of going live, you see. <laughs> live. He, he called on the uh, CBS hotline here. Um, I said, oh, it's not my birthday yet. Uh, I feel such a fool. <laughs> God. Never mind, we'll move on. I've got a big time star here to, tonight, my first guest. She's got two Emmys for Everybody Loves uh, Raymond, and she produced a new documentary the, by Two Minutes Cold Queens of Pennsylvania. Take a look at this. I'm gonna rouge my knees and move my stockings down. I have friends that aren't from this area, and I'll say, oh, well, the Cold Queen and stuff. And they're like, Cold Queen? Why would you want to be the Cold Queen? But if you're from this area, you understand what, like, a powerful meaning it has behind it. It's, it's just, it's our area. That's our heritage. In my heart, they take bigger chances than all the movie stars. They go down in a hole, and they got 600 feet of dirt on top of them and to make a living. And I think they deserve all the respect that we could give them on this earth. Please welcome Patricia Heaton, everybody. Wow! This chair is... Yeah, yeah, yeah. give the chair oh, time to nice. set. Yes. <laughs> Moya, yeah. we had it specially prepared for you. <laughs> you puffed it up. We had, a, we had, you had a, a fluffer. We had it. We had the chair fluffed. Yeah. <laughs> hey, um, you look sensational. Well Thank done. You. What a lovely Thank looking woman you, you are. Oh, well, that's nice. no, no, it's true. <laughs> Tell me about this uh, bituminous. Uh, bituminous. Di bituminous. Bituminous. Uh, you got an education there yeah. over in old. Uh, are these? Uh, are these beauty queens, uh, they, they go down, are they coal mine? They coal mine no, and they... No, uh, the, the town is a coal mining town, Carmichael's, right. Pennsylvania. The whole area of southwestern Pennsylvania are coal miners, and they have a, a, a beauty pageant for their high school girls and, ah, right. and to run as the bituminous, it's bituminous coal as opposed to... Uh, Single-digit coal, I don't know what. Anthracite. Uh, anthracite. Yes. Oh, you see, I'm, I'm frightened of spiders. Oh. <laughs> Bituminous coal is soft and anthracite is hard. Ah, right. So we were going to call it soft, not hard, but it sounded a little porny, so we just... <laughs> so we Do you know Sylvester Stallone did a porn? <laughs> he did? Yeah, I yeah. didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, he did. I heard it's his birthday today. Oh, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> this all myself, you know. I don't have staff. Not like some people. I feel such a fool. Really, I do. But I think they actually, in England, they celebrate it today. Oh, yeah, that's that right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It it's because right. of jet lag and yeah. all that. And right. Hawaii is not as birthday till next year. You. It yeah, no, it's not. Were, were you ever a beauty queen in Pennsylvania? Uh, I'm from Ohio, but um, no. I, actually, um, in my sorority in college, um, I was the second runner-up in the Fiji Queen of Hearts pageant. Wow, <laughs> that's very nice. What is yeah. the Fiji Queen of Hearts pageant? Um, it, Did you dress up as an island girl? <laughs> The Fijis, um, what is the, what is the actual, f f what are Fijis? Like, uh, I was a DG, that's Delta Gamma. Oh, I see, it's a so sorority the Fijis thing. Fijis are what? Five, I don't know, I'm a high school five daughter. Five something, yeah. something or other. Yeah. yeah. But you, you, you were... Second runner-up. Second runner-up. Yeah. Who was, who won? Um, not anybody that got a job on yes, Everybody Loves Raymond. Yes, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Also... 
But why are you... Why, 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 you... By, why bituminous coal, you might ask why, me? Why, uh, no, I did or... ask you that, didn't I? Yes, didn't you I did. ask you about I, bituminous I, coal? I, I like myself coal. instead. But, but producing movies, that's a very odd... I didn't think you'd go from sitcom into producing films. Well, this just was a fluke. You know, I was out to dinner with a couple of girlfriends, and one of them, Sarah Rush, was the 1972 bituminous coal queen. And I did not know this about her. Right. And so um, she started telling us all about it, and it sounded good. The town and the people and the... And just the... It was kind of odd. And I said, this sounds like it would be a great documentary. And my husband, David Hunt, literally three weeks later, took two cameras crews down. I didn't even... I wasn't there. I just produced it. But he went and took the camera crews and shot so for 10 days. So your husband directed it then? Yeah. Well, that's and, quite and, nice. Director and producer yeah, married to each other. Yeah, And, you know, that's something uh, we've been wanting to do. We have a production company, Four Boys Films. And, and the thing about this movie is it's really about small-town America. And the people in Carmichael's, I feel, are <clears throat> really the kind of people that are the backbone of America and that what makes this country great. They're hardworking, they're very cheerful and optimistic and, and they have hard jobs that don't get recognized unless there's a huge, uh, a huge accident or something. Or something but yeah, other yeah. than that, they're not acknowledged very much. But they have such a sense of community. And, you know, it's been a hard time in this country over the last few years and America's, Americans take a bad rap. And I just thought... Do you we think need to that, be reminded yeah. of like who we are as Americans and why this is a great country and how wonderful do you, it is. Do you think? Do you think that kind of small town is going away? Do you think that that's happening? Um, I think for this, for coal mining towns, because this oh, town trust only me, has I'm, where I'm yes. from in my part of the world. Yeah, the coal mining's all yeah. gone. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you know, it, for this town, I think you know it's going to change definitely. I don't know if it'll yeah. go away, but it's definitely going to impact the community. So it was kind of nice. It's almost um, having a time capsule for for this way of life. Yeah, yeah. no, yeah. It, it seems very interesting. I can't. I can't to have a look at it. We're going to yeah. take a break. We'll be right okay. back. We'll be right back with Patricia Eaton, okay. everybody. Uh, Patricia Eaton, where uh, everybody loves Raymond. It was a fantastic was show. That's funny. You know, yeah. I, it's, you know, I always laugh at it. And, that's uh, good. <laughs> well, it's, you know, you, I was on a plane once, and uh, I, they were showing it on the plane. Yeah. I had the headphones on, laughing my head off. I don't know how loud I was because I had the headphones on. And laughing and laughing at it. And the steward came by afterward and he said, I just think it's so cute you laugh at your own show. <laughs> I have to laugh at my own show. Yeah. Somebody's got to. Do, right? do, you miss it? do you miss doing the sitcom yeah, every day? Um, no, I don't miss doing the sitcom every day, but I miss seeing everybody. Yeah. You know, it, it's kind of like, you know, you want to get the job, but you don't want to do the job. It's like, you know, I like the fun of it. And, and the boy, And yeah, the money yeah. and, and stuff. And, yeah. you know, it was a great job. We had fun every day when we went in. Um, but it's nice to have a break because I got all the kids and it's, yeah, you, you got know, four like, kids, four, then four boys. Boys, yeah. Oh my yeah, goodness. Yeah. And your husband is British, is that? And right? my husband's British. How did you meet your husband? Um, well, I had been living right outside of New York City, and I wanted to move um, back into the city to be closer to the guy I was dating. So I sublet this guy's apartment, and it turned out to be my now husband's apartment. Wow. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. you he was your landlord, then? He was my landlord. Did he come around and say, you must pay the rent? And you were like, I have no money. And he said, wow, I have an idea. Was it a bit of that? No. No. Oh. No. He went off to do some Shakespeare, uh, but we had to keep in touch because of the phone bills and the rent and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, and he had, had was dating someone at the time, and I was dating this other person. And Does that ever happen in show business, that people are dating other people, but they meet, and then they, they start dating each other? Never. I've never heard of it. <laughs> That's right. Like, for example, Brad and Angelina, that never happened. No, right, right, right. No, right. right. Yeah, I know, Everybody that would just never... goes home at the yeah, end of the yeah. day, you know, just clocks no. out, you know. That's it. Yeah. Morning, Ralph. Yeah. Morning, Bill. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. You remember that cartoon? Yeah, the cartoon. Yeah, you have the dog yeah, in yeah. there. Yeah, and, the, uh, and then they fight and fight and they fight. They fight and, fight, and, fight, and, and then they clock out. out at the end of the day. Do you like the Roadrunner cartoon? I, I love the Roadrunner. Oh, my. We'll, we'll get back we'll to we'll you get back to you. Anyway, what's your favorite Roadrunner? Well, I like the Roadrunner. <laughs> Although, I have to say, if I was that coyote, I'd start using a different company than Acme because all the stuff... <laughs> Blows it, up. Was, you know, try another company. Everything. <laughs> the anvils are terrible. You know, that my, it's one of my kids' favorite things to do in the house is make the sound where something falls and they go, shh, and then there's a silent then. Yeah, I love that. Because you would wait and wait. And then, yeah. 
It's funny. It was the only pop. thing that made my father laugh. Really? Yeah, the roadrunner. I could never make him laugh, but the roadrunner <laughs> could make him laugh. That's like genius. It the is, genius. is genius. And what's you... great about having the kids is you, I wouldn't normally, well, you, do you still watch it? Yeah, well, I, I, I have a five-year-old boy. Oh, okay, okay. I make him I watch it, though, haven't I? Why is he watching Roadrunner? I, you know, I got back into it because the kids watch it. Yeah, so they're yeah. like, oh, I forgot how great this was. No, it's fantastic. Yeah. It's fantastic, the Roadrunner. Do you watch the, uh, the, what's the other one? The Family Guy. That's great for that very young children. The <laughs> So. I didn't know that at first. Oh, I, you didn't put your no, kids no, in front no. Of the I TV. had a DVD on. I thought it's a cartoon. I'll put it on for my boy, and I'm like, Whoa! oh my! And he like, asked okay, me. By the way, don't show him South Park. Either. No, just, no. Just heads but up on it. I that didn't. One. I because I, I usually I let him watch you know movies, Clockwork yeah. Orange, something like that. But... I'm taking him to the Omen tonight yeah, yeah, after I'll the take show. Take him to the Omen. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. That well, well, you know, it's yeah. my hair. <laughs> It's, it's lovely talking to you, and, and I wish you, you continued success as a Thank movie producer. You so much. I'm, I'm very impressed that you're oh, doing all this kind of stuff. Thanks. And it's lovely to meet you. Patricia Heaton, everybody. We'll be right back.